Let's jump to the wall here, and today we've got a Saving a Disaster Battle playing as Corona going up against Clan Moors. We've been caught in Force March, and it's a bloody miracle he didn't get ambushed. It would have made the situation basically impossible. But, we're not ambushed, but we're still in a bad situation. His armies are fine, but they're both on Force March, so they're not going to perform as well. The enemy armies that we're going up against, at least the first one's not that bad. The second one's pretty dangerous. The third one is not that bad either, set on my garrison. So he's Force Marched really close to an enemy city very big rookie mistake so we can tell that basically we're not in allied territory they've got four menace below it's lo just lucky that they don't have any um uh warp bombs so what we're going to do here we need to assess the tactical situation our reinforcements are going to be coming from here theirs are coming from here that's really bad because they could have their initial army just go in and swamp us before we set up and their reinforcing army could come in there and make things even worse. If, if we can't deploy, then we're basically done for. So we need to actually prevent our reinforcements from actually showing up. I don't mind facing all of their forces versus all of my, our forces. I don't have a problem with that. I feel like that'd be a fair match and we'd be able to beat them. But only if our reinforcements could actually deploy. If they can't deploy, we can't use them. So what we'll do here is just use this army versus this one here. They'll bring in one or two heroes. And uh, we'll see how we go, and I'll just try to bring in the reinforcements at opportune times, just so I can keep them alive. Alright, let's jump in there. Because, yeah, if we don't do that, the reinforcements are going to get wrecked, and it's going to count towards the army loss penalty, and that'll just make the lead part of the battle way more difficult. It's completely to their advantage, so deny them. Alright, so, we're going to set up over here and try to get as far back as possible. There's... Go... Oh, maybe we should set up over here. Yeah, actually, I'm going to set up over here. I just don't like those trees. Just, no need to check a board. This isn't the kind of army that's suitable for it. I think. Actually, you know what I want to do? I would love for the Lord to come in early, because I think he's on Hippogriff Knight. Hippogriff Mount. Uh, we need these guns to stay here. I can't withdraw my troops, but I can totally sacrifice them. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to send him over to here. He'll probably get targeted early, and he'll just leave the battlefield. And that'll bring in, bring in that Lord. It's a bit silly, but it, it, this guy has just no value to me. So yeah, get over there. I'll send you to go and annoy them. And we need to start moving back a little bit. Just a bit. I actually don't mind if our forces like leave the battlefield at all. As long as they don't take like catastrophic losses. Because you're going to want to be able to capture the settlement next turn. And you won't be able to do that. Because they're going to get replenishment and you won't. Uh, we won't be able to do that if we take horrific losses. You'll just have to fall back. But yeah, as a general rule of thumb, force marching into Skaven territory, what are you thinking? <laughs> what did you think was going to happen? Doesn't matter what difficulty you're playing on. That is a mistake. Alright, I'm expecting menace below any moment now. And put these guys on guard mode. There it is. That is fine by me. So we've got four of them that we're going to deal with. That's it, come over here. I want this guy to get super scared. I wish I could withdraw from the battlefield, but we got caught in force march. Yeah. It's doing okay damage. Might even be best if I send a lot of my melee infantry up front, like way up ahead. Don't give them even close to the archers. Sometimes that actually works really well. It, it depends, you know. Because I like I'm just not valuing them very highly. If you if you lose them, so be it. They are forces of least potential. All right, they're coming in. They're just not dedicating that much force because they recognise that this is not very powerful.
Okay, cavalry behind here. That's two. I just can't get them out here while those menace belows are coming in. We've got two more to deal with. That's another reason why you want to stand back as far as possible. Give yourself time to deal with these menace belows early. Because you don't want them coming in while you're in the middle of this fight. It'd be a bloody catastrophe. Okay, another one. That's number three. Also, if we get them clump up, great thing about Blessed Field Trebuchets is we can get friendly fire and it's not actually going to cause any friendly... It won't cause much friendly fire. Gonna do more damage to them. I really want that guy to leave now, please. I just can't tell him to withdraw. Alright, we're going to need... Somebody over here, because I can only pin down so many of them there. All right, look, he's still not shooting. Just they just won't. They refuse to even try to get friendly fire. So this is not being of any use to us there. All right, we got another menace below coming in here. We can also use the prophetess. Just lure them away to pin them down a little bit. Okay, he's about to leave. Cool. We're about to get an actual lord coming in. That'll be good. All right, charge that. And you can over here. Charge this. We might actually be able to break it. I'll charge them with the with the damsel as well. Doesn't matter. Just matter. Cool, cool, cool. Cool. Just get him off the battlefield. Let's just focus on winning. Okay, he's here. Good. Come in over here and kill that fucking general. I actually want our guys to leave the battlefield. The sooner they leave, the better. We get some better troops up in here. Piece of shit spearman. Absolute rubbish. Alright, pop that in there. Alright, I think that's the last menace below. So let's get these guys out and actually start running down enemy units. That's the main thing I want them doing, because I'm again assuming that you want to capture the settlement. It's great to win the battle, but let's get it let's get a strategic victory as well as a tactical victory here, so that you can capture their territory. If you have to fall back because we took too much damage here, then that's that's not really a victory. Mm, but at the same time we also need to stop these guys shooting at us. I really wish we had dwellers below, right here. That'd be so useful. So I gotta stop them from getting over here. Okay, little storm vermin in there, if you could deal with that. This here is not going to last that much longer. For the lady. Ready to loose. Yeah, run them down. I really want to kill their general, but it's just not super convenient at the moment. Set so run off these ones here. That's going okay over there. Alright. Good. I'm liking what I'm seeing here. Really liking how this is going. Okay, that's gonna break them, I feel. Good. Bounce power's looking good. Yeah, that's it. Just We no longer need our melee infantry. Get them off the battlefield. And we've got a damsel here with... Oh, awesome. Arcane Conduit. Fantastic. Get ourselves some more magic. So those sensor bearers there. Those are poorly armored, so our archers would be really good against them, but so would our our magic. Okay. Just stop for a bit. Just stop. Alright. Stop. I mean it'd be good to kill them all. But let's not let our front line over here get get wiped out. Alright, uh, oh, okay, that's not really great. Let's get him over here quickly. 
Right, I want to kill that lord. Yeah, yeah, shoot him, shoot him. Actually, no, don't shoot him. We've only got a limited amount of ammo. Starting to run low. Well, make sure you run them down. Alright, bomb those sensor bearers. What difficulty is this on? Uh, it's on hard. Okay. So yeah, slight advantage they have over us in melee. Uh, where did the enemy general go? Did we kill him? I don't think we did. Did he leave the battlefield? Where'd he go? Or is he still there? Ah, uh, he's there. He's just, he's in a cargo hiding. Alright, pull them back. Alright, get this one over here. Alright, I think this has gone pretty well so far. Pretty well. The only real damage we've taken is on the... Okay, now you need to stop for a bit. Alright, let these guys fire at will. I'd kill that damn rat, but... Alright, our secondary general has taken a fair bit of dam damage. Let's um, give him a bit of a heal. Because, yeah, he's very important to us here. Okay, stop that, please. Whoops, stop that. Yeah, we can just run him down, hopefully. Because, yeah, if we can kill him... Oh, he's got so low health now. If we can kill him, it'll just be a lot easier to rat all these guys. Duh, duh. All right, get over here. So this is why it's really bad reinforcements, but... Ooh, Death Runners. Not... Uh, not good. We just have to do a little bit more damage. Good, we got him. Okay. Yeah, don't want to fight those Death Runners. Even though they're technically not good against cavalry. Yeah, it's just not a really a great matchup. Let's just not do it. Uh, it would be best if we don't actually kill that general. That way he'll still be damaged in the next fight. Okay. Let's resume the bombarding over here. Pop that another heal. And yeah, if we can have the cavalry run down as many units as possible, there'll be fewer troops to deal with next time. Good to see they're getting some heals in as well, helping us increase our bounce of power a bit. Not that Skaven slaves slingers are super dangerous. Just, it's just meat that gets in the way. Okay, I gotta go take out those night runners there. Right, you guys may fire at will. And the artillery, stop. I'm sure those Death Runners are still after us. Now, where are those Avalanche Mortars? Because we might be able to use them to damage their own troops. Which would be awesome. Alright, now we're... We're in a little bit of a problem here. These guys are running out of ammo. Alright, let's just stop for a moment. So these have become essentially just regular peasants now. Which means that they are frontline troops. Alright. I don't think that's working out too well for us. Yeah, just get them away. It wasn't worth sacrificing like our knights to save the spearmen at arms. But obviously these guys here were giving us the shits. Don't have a ton of magic reserves left. Alright, get them back over here. We're gonna have to get ready for the next phase of attacks. 
We're still we're in good shape, but we've lost a lot of ammo, which is why our balance of power isn't very good at the moment. Should he get anything right now? It just doesn't seem like there's that many good targets. Also, pointless having any real rest because we are both on force march. Both armies are on force march. Okay. Now we've got, we got two archers left. Okay, that's a decent blob there. Shoot that. So what are these? Alright, that'll be easy to beat. Absolutely easy. Might be best if we just let them waste their ammo on the on the spearmen. They don't do that much damage against the shields, but they fire while moving. I just I just can't get any good kills on them. All right, there they are. Okay, now I need you to come over here and annoy them so they basically bomb their own unit. Once they run out of ammo, they're not that much of a threat. Okay. Yeah, time for you to kill your own troops. Okay, I need to pull out of that. These fucking death runners. Luckily they just broke just in time there. Are they gonna do it? No, they're not going to do it. They're not actually being stupid. Alright, stop firing. So just leave them alone. They're, they're no threat to us. So we didn't take any real damage there, but it's just... Just not really getting anything done. Alright, if they're not going to fire at their own troops, then... We should go and fight them, so they don't annoy us with our main line over here. Bounce power is not in our favor anymore. All right, I'll need you over here as well. Take out those rattling guns. Oh, I really wish you weren't caught in force march. If we could just withdraw a lot of these troops. All right, this is this is good. Now they're actually taking it seriously and bomb your own. Rattling guns there. That's awesome. Yeah, if I could have withdrawn our own troops, we could start bringing in some of the, the fresher reinforcements. Can't do that now. Hmm, they're starting to take this a bit seriously. They're falling back a little bit. You to go around here. Hit this one in the rear. Alright, cool. That shattered that store of uh, rattling gun. That's good. Probably its most dangerous unit. Apart from the avalanche mortars. Get in over here so that we can get them to shoot at this. And she needs a heal, but let's get them together so we can heal the both of them. Alright, good, they're shooting at him. Or her, whichever. And... Yes! And <laughs> this is what we wanted. Oh, this is such a stupid thing for them to do. I'm gonna need to throw in her... Throw in there. Otherwise, it's just not gonna be accurate against them. I just gotta keep up my healing. Oh, that did so much damage to their own troops. Great, now we got to get them out of there before we take too much damage. Because we got shit going on over here now. And no, we don't because there's the army losses. We win. And our cavalry's still in decent shape. Get rid of that. Don't want to fight that next time. 
And there we go, we barely even needed our reinforcements. I say barely because we did actually need them a little bit. And just run down as many of them as we can. But yeah, next time, maybe don't get too reckless and charge in, in Force March. You know, you might think you're, wi you're winning the war against Skaven, but I can guarantee you, you don't win against the Skaven until they're dead. Completely. So be cautious. Alright, let's speed this up. So they're probably just going to recover. Because they get tons of replenishment cheats. But the only damage that we really took was on the melee infantry at the start. Like the archers took barely any damage. They just used up all their ammo. You'll never get over there in, in time. That's okay. So many kills the Cav get. Yeah, they all did really well. Loads and loads of kills. A lot of them are just like clan rats and shit. But everyone did their job reasonably well. Okay, and we just popped down a regrowth of you because you can't heal any further. Don't want to overcast it because she might miscast and then just even more damage done to her. Alright. And I don't think any units of ours got wiped out at all, based on this. And let's have a look at the situation and see what warranted such a rush at them in Force March. Because you definitely stood close to one of their cities, if one of their settlement garrisons came out. You're not besieging the settlement, because both armies are in Force March. Take the money, it's a good amount. <laughs> okay, we campaign is going pretty well, so uh, yeah, that's not possible to win that. <laughs> yeah, not possible. Yeah, this is a lot of this force marching in front of the enemy there. Yeah, unless you've got like all hippogriff knights, I don't think that's wise at all. So I think that's where we fought. There's a lot of force marching around here. That's very dangerous. It's like, so what if you get there a turn earlier? Move move that way in ambush dance so they can't see you. So just have a little look at that situation and then we'll, we'll pass it on. Alright, so that was over here, wasn't it? Blessings of yeah, that was here. You. No, so you probably didn't even see... Yeah, so you didn't even see them there. But you would have been able to see that they had a, like a small army standing outside the city. Right. Um, yeah, that was, just, that was just straight up a bad move, in my opinion. I mean, we got through it. But yeah, be very careful. Like, you're far better off getting their return later. And uh, ambush dancing your way there way better off so that they don't because if they had ambushed you there that pfft, i couldn't have saved you and they would have wiped out both armies because they would have just done it one at a time uh, i wouldn't have been able to save you at all too much artillery too many archers very very bad if you get ambushed and this over okay yeah if this one here gets ambushed yeah that's that's going to be fine that is not going to lose you've you've caught queek here so yeah all you got to do is bring him over here in regular stance and this one here can attack or maybe you could win just with this one. I don't know. It's up to you how you want to go about it. But it seems like your campaign's in pretty good order. Yeah, no problems here. A little bit low income, but that's okay. You've probably got a lot of armies. Anyway, that's the end of this one, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. And I'll see you next time. Appreciate you, fuckers. Bye.